All right, now we're going to calibrate the PWM. Um, again, DCOF's uh, CV offset must have been finished, step number two. And now we're taking a look again, TP8 to TP13. Uh, but the program is now five. So instead of six, which was our noise program, we are going to program number five, which, as you can see, is our PWM program. All right, let's... Uh, Let's have a look then. Uh, while holding the C4 key down, which we are doing using our our function with the key hold, uh, it should be a 50% duty cycle. What do you think? That's the 50% duty cycle right there. So we're good. Um, it just says simply confirm the duty cycles. The rest of the channels are within 48 to 52%. So we, this is channel 1, so let's move on to the others, and I will disengage, and then let's put this over here, and I will show you uh, what they are. Let's have a look. 50 for 1, 50.2 for 2, 50.6 for 3, 49.4 for 4, 49.8 for 5 and 49.5 for 6. So that's all cool. That's great. So the 50% duty cycle works fantastic. Okay, and that would correspond to basically <clears throat> having the PWM down at the bottom. So now the next thing we're supposed to do is holding it down again. Confirm the duty cycle of the channels are within 93 to 97 percent with PWM set at 10. So let's just pull this up on the touch screen. Set at 10. So GWM, there we go. Da 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 da, take it up. Alright, now here it is set to 10. And Interestingly enough, they seem to show it the wrong way around here in the manual. That obviously can't be right. Um, if it is right, then this is a backwards unit. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll find out if I calibrate uh, a newer model. Uh, works out the other way. I don't know. Uh, right now, I'm just going to assume that uh, the documentation is out of phase. It all works out the same anyway. So if we're saying 93 to 97%, what we really need is 3% to 7% duty cycle and this is 4% duty cycle listed here yeah so that's okay let's test the duty cycles on the others yeah 3.9 4.1 3 .7, 3 .9, and 3.8 so so far so good all good um, so let's move to the next. Well, well, my friends, it looks like that's it for the module board. So if you've come with me this far, you've actually calibrated your module board. So congratulations. Uh, let's get into the jack board in the next video.